Okay, today is the day that we actually start cutting the bit of the car out and it is nerve wracking to say the very least. So uh, yeah, starting to take the top off the strut tops there, getting this other bulkhead out of the way. Uh, and yeah, we're actually keeping track of the little bits and pieces that we are cutting out of the car, but my God, is it terrifying. So uh, yeah, set away on that one at the moment because I think that's the easiest one to backtrack from if we need to. And then yeah, now started to mark out actually the points on the rear quarters. Uh, that are going to be cut away for the Firefly rear quarters made of fiberglass and Kevlar. So yeah, there's going to be big bits of metal disappearing there. Lots of weight, hopefully, including on the inside uh, on both sides. So I've also been tidying up in the back here for the next present that 350 is going to receive, which is a new fill cell, hopefully going in that corner. Um, so yeah, getting close to being at the point of no return, but uh, having great fun doing it and uh, really hoping that it's makes a big difference. Okay, so it's been a busy afternoon, many cups of coffee, many biscuits and Kit Kats eaten. Uh, I've uh, been busily drilling away up here, but putting off the inevitable, which finally I have done. So the quarter is off. So uh, yeah, you can see some of my uh, spot welds from when we first built the car back in 2014. Also found a very nice little uh, space where all of the additional rubber has been collecting. So uh, yeah, some more weight to be saved there. And yeah, here is the offending item itself. Uh, just had that on the scales as well. And I know this one does actually still have part of the filler cap on the back of it. So this thing weighs four and a half kilos. It's, I couldn't believe actually how heavy it was. Uh, when I first actually got it, got my hands on it. So um, yeah, we're making some good progress here. Obviously now the next thing we'll be doing, I'll put the light there, so hopefully it'll make it a little bit easier for you to see with my little GoPro here. But uh, yeah, we'll uh, be taking off the inside of this now and then working out where we're then gonna make the final cut because we're not gonna be running full tail lights anymore. It's gonna be the uh, Firefly blanks, obviously again to save yet more weight, um, but yeah, we'll Take our time, we've got a picture from Christian's car, we've got a picture from Alec McDonald's car. Um, so uh, yeah, yeah, we're, we're making good progress. Happy with it, Oop, that'd be better if it pointed at me. Yeah, happy with how it's going. And uh, yeah, I think I'll be uh, coughing up uh, grinder dust for the next few weeks, but super chuffed with the uh, development. So okay, so I've got no idea what time it is now. It's been one hell of a day. It's amazing what happens when you kind of get in the groove, but before I got the camera, I just washed the uh, angle grinder mono brow off my head. You know what it's like. Get the uh, bike attached as well. And you can see we've made some significant change to this uh, poor little 350 now. Amazing how stumpy it actually is uh, now that we're taking off, obviously, quarters and then where the headlights were. Uh, it's obviously going to be a bit of framework needs to be made up for that. Uh, started having a bit of a go at uh, drilling out some of the bits in the chassis on here. Never done it before. Um, yeah, it's amazing actually how much time uh, it takes to sort of make it look neat and it's definitely not 100% perfect but uh, I'm pretty proud of it so far and I, I like to think that it's going to be making some form of difference to the to the weight. Um, I know I had my <laughs> my dustpan and brush out earlier and uh, that felt pretty hefty so uh, maybe one other thing to put on the scales. But yeah, here is the spoils from today's work. Um, yeah, bits of bits of the front bulkhead. Uh, here's obviously what's the what's left of the kind of rear quarters um, from where the headlights go. Sorry, and they're the quarters themselves. Also got a bit crazy with the drill bit on the wiper motor system. Actually managed to take about half the weight out of this thing as well. So we're going to go single motor. Um, but yeah, loving what this looks like. So we'll get that one sprayed up. Oh, a bit unprofessional there. Um, yeah, get this sprayed up and get it fitted. Uh, try and work out what we need to do about finding the, the right kind of wiper to make that work but yeah i'm exhausted time for an indian takeaway i think and uh yeah back at it again tomorrow okay so i've been out here a few hours now and wow um i think if you guys ever question why a fabricator um sort of charges what he or she does to do such a job definitely accept it because the amount of time it takes well for me um to get things perfect measured well uh, looking smart and trying to get the little details and stuff like that all takes a lot of time uh 
this is my first ever go at doing anything like this and to be honest it's it's been really quite quite therapeutic and stuff like that i know there's a couple of little uh sort of odd ones here and there that may not be exactly the same uh in every sense but people that know me and know me well will know that i've taken the time to try and get this as absolutely mirror perfect on both sides now uh i've been actually doing the stupid thing as well of collecting as much of the swarth and, and hole saws as possible. I think we're up to about uh, about a kilo, kilo and a quarter maybe of bits there. So yeah, got plenty more to be going at. You know, when I get the, the roof section off Firefly, we can then start cutting off this piece up here, uh, working out then what we can take out of this part. But yeah, next for me is, and we'll go around to the side where there's a bit more light, is trying to work out what we can cut out out of here. So uh, for those of you that don't know what this is, this is actually where the seat belt would mount uh, inside the B pillar. There's some kind of weird like ladder bracket thing that goes in here. Uh, as you can see, there's plenty of spot welds on there and it is tied into the door. So it's not gonna be uh, possible really without major surgery to cut this out. So it's gonna be a case of again, getting the hole saws out, getting the cone uh, drill bits out and start hacking into those. So yeah, that's what I'll be doing over the next few hours. Okay, well, thank God that part is over. 56 holes later, you can see that this little part in here is now a lot lighter than it used to be. Uh, yeah, it's obviously made a bit harder steel because it is part of that crash structure, like I said before. So uh, ended up ripping some of the teeth off my hole saw on this last one because obviously I wasn't drilling at it 100% square. But I think that's, uh, it looks fairly smart if I can get the light right. Uh, yeah, it looks fairly smart. So now I've got to do this fun job all over again on the other side. So I'm glad I brought this with me again. Here we go. Okay, so that's all the drilling done for now. The other side pod behind the, oh, well, the driver's side side pod, sorry. Now fully drilled another 56 holes in there. Thank God. Uh, I'm probably up to about, oh, I don't know, nearly a couple of kilos worth of swarth in there. So yeah, a lot of work just for a couple of kilos, but yeah, every little helps. So uh, yeah, now I'm actually gonna try and take out the windscreen. So then we can then start to unpick the roof skin and then start to uh, drill out and so on under there. So yeah, never done that before. Um, I sincerely hope that I don't manage to crack that one. Uh, but yeah, if needs be, then uh, you might see a, uh, a wanted request go out for a windscreen for a 350. So uh, yeah, keep your eyes peeled, but uh, wish me luck. Okay, so updates for you. Uh, I have fully chickened out from trying to take out the windscreen. Uh, Del and I had a go at it the other day, uh, made up this little bit of uh, twisted uh, locking wire. As you can see, it snapped, but was actually doing a fairly decent job sort of along here. Uh, and up the A pillar. So just about managed to get that to kind of move and lift now. But uh, yeah, like I said, fully chickened out really. Uh, we, we seem to hit something somewhere along here that wasn't letting us get any further along. And God knows what I was gonna do across the top there because the, the wire I was using was only just either gonna pull the windscreen to pieces or rip off all the paint. So uh, I know obviously we're gonna be doing something with the paintwork and the roof but yeah, I didn't want to be getting in a position where I was going to have to be, um, yeah, putting another one in. So uh, I've been doing some other little jobs instead. Uh, covered this uh, panel in here, which is where some of the, um, uh, which is where the air goes in for the heater. Uh, I also replaced these little bits of tin down here. These are getting pretty rusty, so they're gone. And obviously you can see that Dell has been doing her handiwork with the, the drill and wire brush. Um, in here as much as she can do to start getting the paint off so we're getting this right back to bare metal as well might as well get as much off as possible because this had a few coats of paint now everything looks a bit like Raiders of the Lost Ark um, yeah so hopefully there'll be some be some treasure at the end of all this work here so uh, I'm gonna now go and do some work at the rear end of the car and uh, yeah let Dell crack on and also the other benefit to having the heater and the hot air gun is when it's freezing out here, you can actually warm yourself up. So yeah, Dell's also stripped off the, uh, the vinyl off the driver's side there. So yeah, more to come. And uh, yeah, let's see what, 
what, uh, what happens next, I guess.